Hey there, if playing baseline is still a problem for you after this tutorial, you're going to learn how to play really catchy and really nice bass lines. Let's get started with this tutorial. So right here we have our drums and our chord progression. I'm going to play both so that you hear. So I'm going to show you a simple trick on how to do this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because this tip is surely going to help you if you're struggling with how to play bass lines, okay? So now I'm going to use Purity, okay? Now you can use your MIDI keyboard, you can use your computer keyboard, you can click it into mouse, the principle applies for everybody, okay? So I'm going to just create a new pattern, okay? But I'm going to paste on the playlist, then, for, then I'm also going to copy my chords, okay? I'm going to need this as a ghost note on the new pattern. Now I'm going to just paste on the sampler because sampler does not make any noise or sound, okay? You can just add sampler by coming to the insert and under sampler submenu right here, you can see the sampler. So we have our sampler already loaded up. So when I play, you can see no sound comes out. Um, but when I come to my purity, um, VST for bass, you can see the ghost notes. So now, you know, bass notes do go to the lower octaves, right? So this is up to um, the fourth octave. So I'm going to just copy this and create some more ghost notes so that we can be sure to have everything covered, okay? Even to the higher octave. So the, the third, fourth, and fifth octave, okay? Now, we have, when I come to um, purity, you can see now I have everything all spelled out for me. It's going to be really, really easy now. So here's where the juice really starts, all right? Now, this is purity or my baseline you can use a stock plugin any plugin really that has the bass that you like the bass sound that you like so we're going to try to find a rhythm for our bass okay and finding that rhythm, we're going to use only our root notes first if your chords are in c major you use key c if your chords if your chords are in a minor or a you use the notes a okay whatever your chords are make sure you use the root key all right now i'm going to just play some notes to try and get a rhythm for our bass line all right and in Afrobeat, there are so many rhythms that you can try. So let's use some of the most popular ones. I'm going to play the whole beat so I can hear. Let me try another one. And I could try another one again. And I could use any one of these three and there are so many more patterns I could create. Now this works for any chord progression, okay? So I'm just going to paste this right here then hit my record button, okay? Now the root key of, of my chord is actually A minor, okay? So that's why it's going to be on A, all right? So I'm going to listen. So before we go further, I want to let you know about the Pirate 101 lessons that I do offer where I teach you personally how to make much better music. If you're trying to mix, you're trying to master, you're trying to make beats, I'm going to show you a particular step in each lesson then you're going to do the same thing until your sound as good as mine, yes. That's why you're going to achieve really good results within six weeks. In the first lesson, you're going to be amazed with what you can even make. So if you're interested in stepping up your game and you're tired of YouTube and you're not getting the results you want, ASAP, all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says private one-on-one -on -one lesson, right? Click the link and then fill up a form and then proceed. Then we're going to get started. All right, now let's get back to this tutorial. We have established our groove, all right? That's our rhythm for our bass lines. So now we can start adding some melodic parts to it, okay? Using these light gray lines, all right? And that is the ghost notes. I'm making sure we select the quarter beat quantize, all right? We're going to play just a few more notes to complement the rhythm we established. Now you can surely play more than two notes, but I'm going to recommend, surely as a beginner, stick to just playing at most two notes before the um, notes you set for your rhythm, all right? Because you want to keep your bass line extremely simple for now. 
when you when you fully understand how to play with this, then you can of course make it more sound more complex. All right, let us stick to two more notes. All right, which just so long as you are using the quarter beats and the ghost notes, you can hardly get a wrong vibe for your bass line. It's going to just depend on you and what you prefer your bass to sound like. All right, so I'm just going to do this for example. I can extend this if I like. Now, when playing melodies, including bass, if you have four chords, it's best that the first chord and the third chord, right, have the same um, pattern of melodies, right? Even though you're not playing exactly on the same note, but the exact same pattern of melodies, right? While the second and the fourth have the same pattern, all right? So now, for example, I'm going to copy this guy right here and just um, move it over here. And I can, even though they, of course, fit the notes, I can still play with it. And here it sounds. Let's take it here and see. I'll bring it down here. And you can add some more melodies in between here if you like, but I think I prefer it to stay simple, all right? So maybe I can just add something short right here. And then let's see how it sounds. So remember, when you establish the rhythm of your bass, right? That's playing with the root key. Then just play some simple notes along the ghost notes using the quarter beats right and you'll be fine with your bass line really simple bass trick that i recommend that you try let me know if it works out for you in the comment section if you find this video helpful don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button see you soon cheers